Hey everybody, this is Becky with Rigid. Welcome to Job Site Live. Today we're talking all things sectionals. So it's gonna be a really uh, exciting Job Site Live with two of our, uh, one of our product managers, we have Brendan and we have Tim. Tim covers our Pittsburgh area, one of our sales managers, we pulled them in today. Uh, if you have questions throughout today's Job Site Live, there's a little icon on the bottom of your screen with a question mark. Simply click that, ask the question. We'll be answering, or we'll be asking those questions real time to both Brendan and Tim to get you the answers that you're looking for. If you have questions throughout that you want to ask in the chat function, go ahead and do that as well. We have Tim Dumphy with us today. His handle is Tim Dumphy. He's our Underground Technologies uh, Director of Product. So we can, you can ask as we go, and we'll make sure that we uh, answer those. And also throughout today, we're going to be picking four winners. We will DM you uh, if you won one of our rigid Yeti mugs. So if you are in the market for sectionals, today is the job site live for you. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead, Tim. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to go through the entire sectional line that rigid offers. Uh, we'll be starting with our models that will do sinks and drain lines anywhere from three quarter inch up to four inch. We'll talk about the K50, and then we'll also talk about the K60, which is the next step up, which will do anything from an inch and a half to a four inch line. Then we'll talk about the larger sectionals. So 1500 and K5208 are uh, largest sectionals right here. So for those machines, we have a clutch mechanism, and uh, the clutch mechanism is nice, it drives down. And one of the biggest things about sectionals versus drum machines is that sectionals are uh, you know, more of a preference a lot of people can use drums versus sectionals. It's, uh, they both do the same thing, but um, sectionals you're able to bring which, however much cable you want, whether it's 60 feet or 100 feet, versus drums where it's kind of an enclosed system. Now the advantage of the enclosed system is it does contain the mess better. So again, personal preference, they do the same thing, but uh, sectionals are a little easier to learn at the beginning, um, just the nuances of uh, drum machines. So with this sectional, we have the 50, 1500 right here. And when you use this machine, you want to have the appropriate working here, so we have our glasses, we've got our uh, earplugs, and we've got our gloves. Um, and make sure to use the appropriate gloves. For the um, sectional machines, you want to make sure to use the um, mitt that's provided with all sectional machines. It's the sole staple mitt. And that's uh, because when you turn the machine on, it'll spin at over 700 RPM. And you can pull it out, and then when, again, when the clutch goes down, you want to have that mitt there so you don't grab anything. Again, grabbing is a very bad thing. So uh, another advantage to sectional machines is we have this cable decoupler. It was released earlier or later on about the uh, single pins, but uh, this decoupler is a great uh, innovation for rich tool. So again, talking about sectionals, you just add on the front, just whether it's a cutter head or the entire cable, it's all that click connect. And uh, a lot of people out in the field ask what type of uh, cutter head or auger on the front. You want to use this. Um, it, retrieval or um, inspection auger. That way you can go into the drain, figure out what's down there. Uh, and a lot of times what you find is there's a baby wipe, a rag, or something like that that can be uh, pulled up by this point right here and then pulled back out so you can get some of the water flowing. As you pull that back out, you're able to adjust and you can look at these different cutters right here. We've got some more aggressive cutters for roots, uh, a spade cutter over there if you've got more of a hard blockage. So again, we offer not only the um, inspection cutter heads, but we also offer the more aggressive cutter heads to ensure that whatever blockage it is, you're able to attack it. So what we'll do is we'll open this up and we'll put the cable down there. Again, the great thing about sectional is you can put it down a six inch line and you're good to go. So this cable is 15 feet, so you get pretty far out. What we would do is you bring it out, add another section of cable, throw the other cable in so that you're using this guide hose. And one of the biggest things is this guide hose is for your safety. You want to make sure that the exposed cable is not spinning on the ground. Um, sometimes when you're outside, it's OK. But when you're in people's basements, whether they have a rug or some sort of finished basement, that's really important to keep that ground uh, clean and uh, crap free, let's be honest. So um, again, 1500, great machine. And uh, it's been the workhorse of Ridge Tool for a very long time. Recently, we launched the 5208. So this is a 5208 uh, transport cart along with the cable carrier right here. It's a great product. You contain the mess with these cables. You're able to clean them out. A lot of guys will take their hose at the end of the day and clean this cable. And uh, another huge advantage about the 5208 is it's designed for tight uh, locations. Whether you need to pull a toilet 
or whether you need to get behind a um, hot water heater, the 528 is a great tool for that. So what we'll do is pull this toilet, get it out of the way. Now a lot of people would have a difficult time because it's narrow. You bring our 5208 over here and you're right next to the drain right there. No hassles. Again, it's a sexual machine. So this 5208 is really lightweight. It's the most cap powerful, compact machine on the market and it uses the same tools as the 1500. So if you have both machines, it's very easy to switch over. You've got the large cable there, you've got the cutter heads, you just switch over to a 5208. So I'll let, bring it over to Tim. Okay, once you go down a little smaller, we jump down to the K60. The K60 will do inch and a half through four inch lines out to 150 feet. A lot of septic tank contractors, maintenance contractors, anybody that is doing roof stacks will choose the K60. The cable is half the weight of the 1500. It's also a lot smaller unit, so it's easier to get it up onto the roof. Keep in mind if people out there are doing roof stacks, if you're using a 1500 and you have 100 feet of cable going down that stack, that weighs 186 pounds and you have to pull that back by hand. So if you go up with a K60, the cable only weighs 90 pounds per 100 feet, so it's a lot easier bringing that cable back once you've used it. It works just like the 1500. It has a guide hose that feeds onto the back. You always want to feed your cable on whether a 1500 or a 60. You want to feed the cable from the front to the back. Please don't couple more than two cables together at one time because you don't want any cable running out the back of the guide hose because that cable is just going to roll across the floor, cause a mess. And also, I've seen many times in the field where a contractor's helper will stand in the back and put the cable between their shoes to hold it from rolling around the rug. Please don't do that because if it grabs onto a shoelace or a piece of loose pants, that's an accident waiting to happen. Okay. So the K60 uses the pin key to decouple the cable. You can also use the rigid trident because it's inch and a quarter on one side, seven eighths on the other. The key also keeps the clutch locked in when you're carrying it. There is a GFI on all of our machines. This GFI is there to protect you if you're in a wet environment, you know, if you're standing in water. Please, if the GFI ever pops, uh, doesn't work for some reason, don't cut the cord off and put your own plug end on because that's against OSHA requirements. And again, that is a, an accident waiting to happen. You could theoretically die from electrocution. So if something happens, take it to a rigid service center, get it repaired with the right cord and right GFI on there, you'll be safe. The K60 uses both 7 8 or 5 8 cable. All you do is loosen two screws on the adjusting end, open it all the way up, put your cable in, and only put the clutch handle a little less than halfway down, and then turn the nozzle clockwise until it's tight. You're set for that size. Because when you're using a K60 or a K50 or a K1500, you don't ever want the clutch handle to go all the way down. Because that means there's a good chance that the cable's gonna slip and not get a good grip. Uh, your, your clutch may be worn, it's an indication of, of a worn clutch. You always wanna keep it right there in the middle. The K50 is actually my favorite machine. It's a crossover machine. It's the only machine on the market that will use both sectional cable and drum cable. So this takes 5 ace cable. This machine will do from inch and a quarter through four inch lines out to 100 feet. So you have the same guide hose that fits on the back. It's got a little detent pin on it. There's a little hole right on the coupling. So you just mount that. Let that snap in. Feed your cable through the back and then you can start feeding cable out. This is your clutch mechanism. When you feed the cable, you may start to see it torque a little bit if it's getting stuck in the clutch. Uh, if that starts to happen, just let up on the clutch. Torque will take care of itself. Go back in and continue cleaning. If the customer has a sink that is clogged up, that's why I like this machine. I can take the 5 a sectional off I can take one of our drum adapters that takes either a quarter inch, five sixteenths, or three eighths cable, feed that in through the back, lock it in place, tighten your thumb screws, and then you can feed out as much cable as you want. 
hit your clutch. What I was talking about with uh, torque buildup, when you're in the drain cleaning this, it'll, it'll spin in your hand, but if it starts to get stuck in a really tough clog, you'll start to see this cable torque up on itself. When that happens, just let off the clutch and straighten itself out and go. When you're done, feed the cable back in, loosen up your bolts, remove it. The cables come, uh, you can carry the cables in a variety of ways. You can either use the standard open reel cage that most people use. We also have the plastic drum adapter, which is solid. It's a little easier to carry this around. And also when you're pulling cables out of the line, they're wet, they're full of residue. You put them inside the plastic drum, nothing gets on the floor, everything is clean. Most of your drum cables are gonna come with an auger head on it. And again, like we mentioned before, almost 90% of clogs are something that can be grabbed onto, a rag, a paper towel, toilet paper, a child's toy, whatever. That's why you're gonna use an auger. Once you bring that auger back, if the water is still backed up, you can check for residue on there. If there's grease, you can switch to a grease cutter. If there's uh, a little bit of roots, you can switch to a root cutter go in, clean the line, and go from there. But you should always go in first with an auger to investigate what the problem is, and then you shouldn't have any problem. On a K50, I have seen in the field a couple of times, there are three legs on it, but if you'll notice, the rear leg is shorter than the front two legs. It makes the machine sort of taper back. That's because as you're pulling cable back through and there is water on the cable, the water's going to run through the machine, run out the back through the guide hose. It's not going to sit in the machine and possibly do damage to the motor. Okay? Yep. All right. Go ahead and answer or ask any questions through the question uh, button at the bottom. Looks like we have one question. How much does the K60 run? The K60 will do up to 150 feet of 7 8 cable. The cable is in 15 foot sections. All right. All right. We have another question. Sectional or draw machines? What is the difference? Uh, so we kind of highlighted earlier. Uh, the biggest uh, difference is preference. So sectional machines. Um, you know, we've talked about being able to carry the cable that you want. Um, sectionals allow you to kind of aggregate whether you want 60 feet, 100 feet, or over 200 feet. With the drum machine, um, you guys can learn on that, but you're kind of limited by the drum capacity. So most drums only have 100 feet of cable. So that's the biggest difference. But again, it's all about preference. Both machine, or both types of machines can uh, clean both types of two inch to eight inch strings. It's a cost factor as well. If you're using a drum machine and you have 100 feet of cable, if you were to kink that cable or break that cable, you have to replace the entire cable, which could be hundreds of dollars, where if you're using a sectional machine and you break a cable, you're only replacing you know, a less than $100 piece of cable that's anywhere from 7 to 15 feet long. So it's a little less expensive owning a sectional machine, a lot less maintenance. Uh, maintenance is also a big thing as far as the cables go. Now the machines themselves all have a grease fitting in the front and back on the bearings. If you're using a machine daily, I would grease it daily. Just one pump of grease is fine. You can't over grease it just like you're greasing a bearing on a car. If you do, it'll come out the side, wipe it off and go from there. The cables are the most important part. Uh, you want to keep those cables greased up as best you can. If you want to put them in a, in a barrel of oil or you want to soak them with WD-40, rust is the worst enemy to a cable. So as clean as you can keep those cables is just how much longer they're going to last for you. Yeah, and the rust is another challenge to those spring pins that we showed earlier. Uh, when those get a little rusty and you can't get them disengaged uh, and you're on the job, you might get a cable stuck together and that's nobody wants that. So uh, keeping those cables clean and making sure those spring pins uh, reject, go back and actually engage your cables. All right, we have another question. What is the best way to transport your cables? As we mentioned before, there are a couple different ways. We have our open carriers. Uh, the larger machines like the K60 and the K1500 will hold 75 feet of cable. Uh, so you can put six or seven lengths in each one, maybe have two of them. These are open cage, so you want to make sure your cables are sort of dry as best you can. But we also have our new plastic enclosed drums where everything sits inside it. If there's any uh, water or residue, they go inside the drum. They don't go on the floor. Yep. And that's the same uh, plastic material that we use on our drum machines. So it's very robust, waterproof, and very uh, drop resistant. 
Okay, we have another question here. What's the maintenance requirement for the K60? The only maintenance on the K60 is what we mentioned before. You have two grease fittings, one on the side where the adjuster is, where the guide hose goes on, one just under the clutch hose. Again, if you're using this thing daily, give it a, you know, a pump of grease daily. That's regular bearing grease. The, the grease is, is your best friend. If you don't grease that up, all that residue collects in around the jaws of the clutch and, and just it, it'll help the machine run a lot longer for you. Okay, another question here, battery adapter in the future? Uh, at the moment, we, you know, we do have some handheld uh, tools like the K40, uh, K45. Um, at the, we don't have any uh, opportunities for um, battery powered large machines, but potentially, you know, we're, we're always into new things. Um, you guys give us suggestions and we'll work into it. All right, we have one more here. What is the most ordered slash bought sectional machine? That's a hard one. Most popular, maybe. Uh, honestly, uh, the K1500 has been around for a long time. Um, that's probably the most ordered and uh, most demanded K uh, sectional machine in the market. Uh, because the capacity is from two inch all the way up to eight inch, it's a workhorse. And if you have the room on your truck, it's great. Uh, going to outdoor into fields and stuff, uh, septic systems where they do have the room, uh, you're gonna get to everything. K60 is great, but the K1500 has the power. It's three quarter horsepower. You're not gonna find anything more powerful in the market. All right, we have one more question. How far can each machine go and what size pipe? Starting from the bottom, the K50 will go from inch and will from three quarter up to four inch, out to 100 feet. Now, when you're using the drum adapters, you either have 25 feet, 35 or 50, depending on the cable you have in it. Uh, the K60 will do 150 feet of seven eighths cable. It'll do 100 feet of five eighths cable. Um, for the larger machines, um, we've got three versions of the K1500. There's the regular, which is three quarter horsepower. We've got the ST, which is a full horsepower. And then we've got our gas, which is even more powerful than that. For those, um, the three quarter horsepower can do two to eight inches. The larger machines can do all the way up to 10 inch uh, drains. So for the bulk of those, they can, um, the smaller machine goes up 200 feet. The larger machines go 250 feet out. And those are for huge applications. So you're talking about malls, um, you know, more of the semi-commercial where it's gonna be a long distance between cleanouts. Uh, one more question. What's the difference between the K60 and the K5208? So the biggest difference is capacity. The K60 does 5 8 and 7 8 cable. The 5208 has a much more powerful motor, um, kind of the equivalent to the K1500, and has the same capacity, 7 8 and inch and a quarter cable, as the 1500. So um, it, it is a little more heavier than the K60, but it's able to get those larger uh, drain lines, which the K60 would not be able to get. Okay, well, that's it for questions. All right, well, thank you so much. And uh, for myself, Tim, and everybody else at Rigid, I really appreciate your time. Thank you.